So I wanted to make a video because um, I know that all of us have been talking about reaching out to the judge in Delaware regarding any frustrations, any information we want to provide regarding, you know, demanding a real share count, phantom shares, allegedly uh, synthetic shares, alleged corruption, which we all know what the truth is. But of course, I have to use those words, even though I hate those words, because I know what the truth is. But anyway, you'll see right there the address, 500 North King Street, Suite 11600, and that's uh, William Tun, Delaware, 19801. And uh, hell, you, you can read this yourself. It basically tells you the whole procedure here. That if you don't have an attorney, you could be a part of this lawsuit. To whom it may concern, this letter is to provide the proper procedures for any pro C person that's a person without counsel interested in submitting documents for filing onto the docket in the court of the Chancery case uh, captioned above. All proceed persons should adhere to the following court-wide procedures described herein. So all filings should be registered. Chancery, this is the clerk of, of the court, in paper form for docking into the case docket, the address shown above. Once again, that address is here. The court requires the documents to be properly signed and to have your contact information. Under the court of the uh, Chancery Rule 3BB, all filings should include payment to the registry and Chancery for the docket fee at the rate of $2 per page. Proceed persons whose income may fall below the federal po poverty guidelines and are not able to pay the $2 per page. This is good news for Dale, Daddy's boy, RuPaul Dale. Okay, uh, you know. <laughs> it's very good news for Dale. Docketing fees shown in the court of the Chancery Rule 3BB may complete an application and affidavit to proceed in formula uh, papyrus or fear weight waiver. So you know where you could save the two dollars if you can't afford it, Dale. I'm also going to put the link of this in the description of the video. Video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner for entertainment purposes only.